quantum physics we're going to have a look at key definitions but also key equations so just to start with it's giving you the work function of sodium and it's also giving you the ionization energy it's asked then for the definitions of work function and ionization energy so in mark schemes what i've realized is for work function the word term minimum energy always comes up and it's the energy needed for an electron to escape from a metal surface so how is that different from ionization energy? That's the minimum energy needed for an electron to escape from its ground state. So if we think about an sort of outer shells of electrons, electrons can be here or here. Now, photons are what provide the energy that the electrons absorb. If a photon has enough energy to release an electron all the way from the inside back out, that's what we refer to as ionization energy. When an electron in its ground state, in its lowest energy level, has enough energy to leave the atom completely. Whereas the work function just refers to when the photon has just enough energy so that when an electron on the surface absorbs it, it can escape. Of course, this one will require extra energy because it has to go excite past the energy levels and then escape the atom. Let's move on now to part B, which is the calculation question. So it says show the minimum frequency to ionize an atom is that much, 1.2 times 10 to the 15 hertz. So it's given us ionization energy, 5.15 electron volts. Now, um, so I've given a few prompts here that you can always use, but for this, we're going to use the fact that energy is equal to HF. We rearrange this to get that frequency is energy over H. H is Planck's constant, which is given in an exam as 6.63 times 10 to, 30, 10 to the minus 34. Now, energy, when we use it, it always has to be in joules. So what we do is we convert electron volts into joules by multiplying it by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. If you put all of this into your calculator, what you'll get is a value of 1.24 times 10 to the power of positive 15 hertz, which is actually the answer to part B of this question. So that's it. Great, let's move on to part C. So it says this frequency is actually incident on the surface of sodium. How clear the maximum possible kinetic energy of an electron that is emitted. So that's where we use this equation here, known as the photoelectric equation. So we can just directly use it. It's Planck's constant, h here, 6 times 10 to the 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34, multiplied by the frequency which we just found. And it says that we can use this frequency from part b. So 1.24 times 10 to the 15. Take away the work function. The minimum energy needed for an electron on the surface to escape the atom completely, which is given in electron volts. So once again, before we use it in calculation, we have to convert it into joules. This symbol here, by the way, just means work function. So don't get confused by it too much. We know that E is equal to HF. Work function, which is a minimum energy, is equal to H multiplied by F min, which is a threshold frequency. That's just um, the relationship between these two equations. Okay, let's convert work function into joules then. So 2.28. And then once again, we multiply by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. Now in a calculator, that will give you 4.59 times 10 to the minus 19 to an appropriate number of significant figures. Try to always go for um, three significant figures as a rule of thumb, as long as it makes sense in the question. Great. Now, part D of this question. Calculate the speed of an electron that has the same de Broglie wavelength as the electromagnetic radiation in part B. So that means that the wavelength is the same as um, the wavelength of the photon that causes this frequency. So how do we find that wavelength? Well, that's where we use wavelength equals the speed of the photon. We always assume that photons travel at the speed of light. So that's 3 times 10 to the power of 8. And we divide that by the frequency of photon that causes that radiation in part B, which we calculated as 1.24 times 10 to the 15. By the way, 
if you got an incorrect value here but you end up using this value later on in the question you'd still get the method mark just so you're aware that wavelength would be equal to 2.42 times 10 to the minus 7 meters we can then use this equation here the de Broglie wavelength equation which I've already rearranged to make velocity the subject and just running out of space here but we say velocity is equal to h which is again 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 divided by the mass because we are talking about an electron here that's the mass of an electron which is given in an exam 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 and then multiply it by wavelengths which I don't have space to write but we just write here everything that we found in the wavelength and that will give you an answer of 3010 meters per second hopefully that all made sense and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments otherwise please like the video please subscribe with post notifications i'll post a video at least once every day and if you have any tutoring inquiries you can just email me um my email is on the first link in the description it's mo at excel in thanks for watching have a good day bye